Mosul's old city saw the heaviest fighting in the war against ISIS. Only a fraction of the families who lived here before have been able to move back. Nine months on, there are still corpses littering the neighborhood. And it's making life unbearable. What do you say to the kids about the situation now? There is one group trying to solve this problem. Volunteers who've taken on the grim task of removing the dead from the rubble. The team is led by Saror Al Husseini, a former nurse who's just 23 years old. Many of the others are even younger. Some are medical students. Others just friends with no formal training in handling corpses. So far, they say they've pulled and bagged more than 350. This is a bone for a human. Many of these remains are ISIS fighters. One reason so many have been left untouched is the deep loathing authorities have for their former occupiers. Today, Husseini and her crew are responding to a call from Rafat Mohammed a local business owner who wants to reopen stores in his building, which was severely damaged in an airstrike. He's waited five months for authorities to do something about this foot sticking out of the ground. ISIS used buildings like this to launch attacks, hiding from security forces by tunneling through walls. The work is time consuming. It takes about an hour for Husseini's team to remove this one body. So he was he was a prisoner? Yeah, yeah. And this looks like a bullet? I think it's a bullet. Because It's dangerous work because there's unexploded ordnance hidden in the rubble and even attached to the bodies. It's a bomb. It's a bomb? Yeah, in here. I'm going to go to the job. 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 That's a grenade in there? Yeah, in here. This is the problem that we did a lot of people. We have a lot of people, the weapons, the weapons, like this. Explosive belts on them? Yeah, yeah. The bodies are labelled and left for municipal workers to dispose of. But they can end up sitting for days before being picked up. 
a couple of blocks away in Al Maidan, the district of the old city where ISIS made its last stand. There's a site that the team has been working on for weeks in the basement of a collapsed building. <laughs> Here, a 100 body. Oh, oh my God. Oh. There are dozens and dozens of bodies in this room. We don't know how many for sure. The team's saying more than 100 just in here. It's the most horrific thing I've ever seen. There's children's skulls. We don't know who these people are or who killed them, but the scene here is absolutely horrific. Hosseini's volunteers have only pulled 30 corpses from the room so far. And they still don't know what happened here. Both ISIS and Iraqi security forces have been accused of carrying out executions as the battle for Mosul dragged on. But the evidence has often been hard to find. This entire area was closed off for weeks after the fighting. Hosseini and her team said there'd been no formal investigation of the site. And Mosul city officials told us they were overwhelmed by the sheer number of bodies that need examining. <laughs> General Najm al Jabouri was the top commander leading the fight to reclaim Mosul when the battle began. He's now stationed here at one of Saddam Hussein's former palaces in East Mosul, focused on making sure ISIS doesn't come back. Investigating reports of atrocities during the fighting doesn't seem as high a priority. I mean, we saw a room full of bodies, women and children that are still there. It seems like that was the scene of some kind of a crime, a mass execution. It's just in the Maidan area, we have pictures of it. So for example, this, I mean, there were probably dozens of bodies in one room. I mean, do you think, is, is there any investigation that's being done into, into these places, into those crimes? This is not my job. This another agency will make some investigation about that. But I think, I thought many of them human shield and some or many of them also the families of ISIS fighters. Is it possible that these people were killed by Iraqi forces in the final days of the battle? There are many of them killed by ISIS fighters. We don't know exactly what happened in this place or who killed those people, but have they had a proper human rights 
investigation made about those places? I think some uh, human rights uh, committee and the central government uh, did some investigation about that. But human rights experts told us they weren't aware of any investigation of the site. And they were concerned about the bodies being removed because it could be destroying critical evidence. But for the people who actually live in Mosul, there's only one urgent goal right now. Making the city livable again. Even if it means forgetting the worst of what happened here. Nothing is 